Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about push buttons. Push button on or off. So when switch is turned on, that is when a push button is pressed and then turned off, that is released, then output will be on. And then when push button is pressed and released, then output will be off. Push button on and off. When switch, that is push button, is turned on, that is pressed, and then turned off, that is released, then output will be on. And then when switch is turned on or pressed, and then turned off or released, the output will be off. So, when a push button is pressed and released, the output will be on and then when push button same push button is pressed and then released then output will be off so let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram to turn on output and to turn off output with the same push button i will open eco structure machine expert basic I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will draw a ladder diagram for push button on and off. I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact and then two coils. Second one. Then I will click on this option and then I will draw a line like this. And then I will insert two more normal, one normally open contact and one normally closed contact here. Then I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as push button. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0. I will also add symbol to it as memory bit. And then on. So this is a memory bit which we will use to turn on the output. And then I will assign address to this coil as M1 and then I will assign symbol to this as memory bit off. Yes. So this is a memory bit which will be used to turn off the output and then I will assign address to this contact as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as output. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact same as output that is Q 0.0. And then I will insert, I will add a new rank here. And then I will insert normally open contacts. And then I will insert one normally closed contact and a coil. Then I will click on this option and then I will draw a line like this. So I will assign address to this contact as M0. 
the memory bit which we will use to turn on the output that is Q 0.0. Then I will latch the output here. I will assign address to this contact same as output that is Q 0.0. And then I will assign address to this normally closed contact as M 1. The memory bit which we will use to turn off the output. So here when push button is turned on and then when output is off, I will insert one normally open contact and one normally closed contact here. And then I will assign address to this contact as Q 0.0 that is output. And then I will assign address to this contact same as output that is Q 0.0. Then I will add a new rank here and then I will insert normally open contacts here and then one normally closed contact and then a coil. I will jo join this normally open contact. I will join this normally open contact. I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. And then I will assign address to this contact as M0. The memory bit which will be used to turn on the output. I will assign address to this coil as Q0.0. So I will add it here. I will assign address to this contact same as output that is Q 0.0 and then I will assign address to this normally closed contact same as memory bit which will be used to turn off the output that is M 1. So when push button is pressed and then released that is when it is turned on and then turned off. The memory bit which will turn on the output will be true. And then when memory bit will be true, the output will be also true. And then as I have latched it here, so it will remain true when push button or when a switch is turned off. And then and then again when push button is once again pressed and released, then the memory bit which will be used to turn off the output will be activated and then it will break the circuit and then the output will turn off. So I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program and then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. I will go to programming tab and then I will click on full screen mode. So when I turn on I 0, 0.0 and then turn off. When I turn on the switch and then turn off. I'll when I turn on I 0, 0.0 and then turn off when I turn on I 0, 0.0 and then turn off the output will remain true and then when I once again turn it on and then turn it off the output will be false it was all about this exam it was all about push buttons thank you for watching